Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica and today is my first artist vlog. Today, me and my dad will be taking a day trip up to Buffalo. We will be checking out a new art store, stopping at Barnes & Noble, and going to a Hobby Lobby, which are some of my favorite stores. I love watching all the planes go by. This is some footage I shot through my front window while I was getting ready to leave. And a little fact is this is about an hour worth of footage that I sped up at 1500% and it shortened down to about three minutes. I like how at the beginning of the video the sky is red and purple and now it's this bright blue. Keep on watching guys if you want to see what I got because later in the video I'm going to do a little haul. Sorry, my camera was having trouble with the autofocus here as the sun starts to rise in the distance. I really love shooting time lapses, so I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. I also wanted to introduce you guys to my two Britney Spaniels that me and my husband have. This is Otto. He is a boy and he is five years old. Right now they are cuddling with us on the bed and they love doing that on weekend mornings. Over here is Shoshana, which is Otto's mom. We call her Shoshi for short, and she is seven. Don't they look so cute? And here is Hyatt's. This is my dad opening the door for me. And sorry for any shaking, I was nervous to vlog for the first time and very excited for a new art store. All these were coloring books when you first walked in. Adult coloring books. And then they just had aisles of art supplies. These journals were my favorite. I wanted one of each of them. And then I noticed these handmade leather journals. Oh my gosh, they were gorgeous. And that paper, how beautifully torn it was on the edges. My art was not worthy to be in these beautiful books. And then I noticed these made of stone notebooks, which I've seen on Facebook before. And while they're very neat, they would not be good for watercolors. These moleskins were huge. They were like 
two feet tall and I've never seen them that big before. So I had to show you guys. Aisles of brushes I couldn't stop playing with and touching. This is my favorite, the watercolor section. And here we are, leaving the art store, heading through downtown Buffalo. And we're getting on the expressway. And you might think this is boring, but I actually want to show a little clip of us driving because we are going to be driving by the Buffalo waterfront. And coming up is the Peace Bridge. The Peace Bridge is an international bridge between Canada and the United States. And this is the Niagara River that flows to Niagara Falls. So shortly after arriving at Barnes & Noble, my camera unfortunately died. Hey guys, so I want to show you what I got from our trip today. And I'm going to start with the art store, Hyatt's. So I got a Pentel Aquash brush, permanent ink. Then I got two stencils. And I bought these stencils to try out some mixed media techniques I want to do. I got this aqua board and I'm so excited to try this out. And it's a uniquely absorbent acid-free textured surface that you can use watercolors on. It can be sealed and framed without glass, keeping colors and textures true to life. Then, a new sketchbook! I'm so excited. This is a new moleskin watercolor sketchbook. It's a 135 pound paper and how many sheets are in here? It's 72 pages. And I'm really excited to try this out because of the landscape format. I've not had a sketchbook like this yet and I want to use this um, to do some paintings of like my backyard or if I take this to, to town and do maybe like some urban sketching because I want to try that out and use the book that I got for Christmas. So this took me forever to pick out, but I'm super excited to test it out. I've never used one before. So that's what I got from Hyatt's, the art store in Buffalo. Then me and my dad went to Barnes & Noble and I always love looking through all the books and stuff. And I got this one. This is the Complete Watercolors Essential Notebook. And this is actually two books in one. Um, it's a lot about like landscapes and outdoor paintings, which is what I want to get into. There's some really beautiful paintings in here and really great tutorials I can't wait to try out. After Barnes & Noble, we then went to Hobby Lobby, which is another one of my favorite stores. And I got a wood paneling piece. Um, it's eight by eight and I bought this it was on sale it was half off it was pretty cheap like 250 or something and I really wanted to try watercolors on this um, 
I think I might try it without priming it because I don't want the white gesso background or absorbent medium watercolor, whatever you use with the watercolors. So I'm going to try it without it and see if it works out because I think the natural wood would look really nice if I did like a little landscape painting or a little like creek in the woods or something. So I'm excited to try that out and see how it turns out. I'll definitely do a video if I do. So you can see me mess up on it or something. And the only other thing I bought from there is these card sleeves. And I bought these little card sleeves. They hold um, standard size cards. They're clear. It's a pack of 100. Um, I'm a part of this site. I don't know if I mentioned this yet where you swap um, crafts and pieces of art and mail and stuff. So um, artist trading cards are really big on there and I don't know if you know what an artist trading card is but it's a little piece of artwork you make and you put them in these little clear sleeves to protect them and then you mail them off and people collect them and have binders of them. So that's something I really want to get into doing, little pieces of art, especially with my watercolors. And hopefully I just want to get a collection going and I think it would be really cool to see other people's artwork. I think it's so inspiring and it gets me really motivated to do my own. So that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. And I went to Michael's the other day because they were having a sale on their art stuff and I didn't go with my um, dad on my trip. It's just something I went on my own because the store is kind of near my house and I got a new tabletop easel. happy to get this. It was half off so it was like 10 bucks and I wanted to have something to have on my table when I do some art videos and I can tilt it up and instead of having to hold my board every time and I think it's extendable so it might go up for a bigger um, like bigger pieces if I work on them so I'm glad to get something to have on my table. And I also was looking at canvases because they were on sale and I also happened to go buy their clearance rack. I always just check it out, see what they got. Um, sometimes they have some really good deals and they did. Look at this. This is a 10 pack of 8x10 canvases. Look at that discount price. $4.99 because of this little dent. So that is so cheap. These normally go for like $20 a pack. And for five bucks, even if that first one is ruined, that leaves me nine canvases to work on. And I'm gonna try out some mixed media techniques, um, maybe some acrylic, maybe I'll get some watercolor absorbent ground to paint over and then I can use watercolors on these. But for five bucks, I could not pass that up. That is such a good deal. I can't wait to start using this stuff and show you guys in some of my future videos. So that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or video suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and click that subscribe button if you wanna see some of my future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.